This is a basic familiarization of how air conditioning works and is not intended for me to teach you how to be an air conditioning technician. I will show you some basic tools and what they mean and how they work and a couple things you can have done to your air conditioning system to make it cool a little colder. I'm going to lead you through the basic idea of how air conditioning works. The actual term to describe the process is called latent heat of vaporization. If you've ever taken a propane bottle and opened the lid or taken the top off of a, like a propane torch or off your grill or something, you notice how even on the hottest day it will get frost on it. That's because inside the bottle the liquid propane will push through that small hole and on the outside it becomes a gas. And during that process of going from a liquid to a gas is where it has to take the heat out of the atmosphere and creates ice crystals on the edge of the lip of the, of the, the tank. Now, this being said, in a Freon system, it does exactly the same thing. 134 and R12 and all that work the same. Now, today we all use 134 because it's, it's in more environmentally friendly. The idea is, instead of just having a tank that's expended over time, you end up recycling the Freon and it goes around in a circle. The AC compressor runs off of a belt off of your uh, front of your engine and it draws the Freon out of the evaporator in and compresses it. Now it passes through a condenser and in this condenser as you drive down the road air it comes across the condenser and turns it from a gas into a liquid. As it pushes through here it goes through what's called the orifice tube. The orifice tube, as the Freon passes through, goes from a, a big tube down to a very small hole. The process of pushing the liquid Freon through that small orifice changes it to a gas. In that process, it gets very, very cold. And then it's pushed through your evaporator as a gas. And then there's a fan inside the cabin of the vehicle that blows across the evaporator. And that's where the cool air comes from. The correct way to describe this in a scientific way is that you're not taking cold out, but you're putting heat back into the Freon. The Freon is actually absorbing the heat and converting back from a gas to a liquid as it absorbs the heat. In the process, instead of bringing cold air into the cabin, what you're really doing is removing the hot air. That hot air is, is stored as energy inside the Freon that's now condensing gradually back into a, a, a liquid and then it's brought back to the compressor, it's passed through the condenser where the air from the outside again in front of your radiator turns it back into a liquid completely and then goes through the orifice tube and it's converted to a gas again and this goes round and around and around. This is a very very basic way of looking at this but this is how it works. If the compressor fails or it's no longer making the pressure that it should, then it's not going to be as cold. If you have a leakage in the system, then it's not going to be as cold. If you have blockage across the front of your condenser and you're not able to get the flow of air across it to, to cool it, then it's not going to be as cold. These are little areas that could use some attention on your truck if you're in a dusty or a dirty environment and you've got these areas clogged necessarily. Now I'm going to move on and show you the basic overview of how to repair an air conditioning system and what goes on with it. One component that I left out of here in this very basic illustration of this is one that goes right in here that's called an accumulator dryer. It's very important that Freon in this whole system has no water in it. If you get any water crystals inside the system, what will happen is they'll all accumulate at the orifice tube and they'll either blow a hose or they'll kill the compressor. So it's very important that there's some sort of drying agent inside this system to keep the water out of the Freon. That's number one. The other thing is, is the accumulator, if you have any debris, say from a compressor blowout or something of this nature, it will accumulate in the bottom of the accumulator. It's very important that if you open the air conditioning system and let the Freon out, and it's allowed to fill up with normal ambient humid air, the accumulator will become saturated very quickly and no longer be useful. Sometimes if you're able to switch a compressor quickly, uh, especially in a, in a high production situation like an ambulance field, 
they'll forego doing the accumulator because they just let the Freon out or whatever. But more often than not, they'll end up doing a full service on the system much sooner because they did not replace the accumulator dryer. Follow along. Let me show you on the truck how all this works. 